Honourable Koya. Thank you, uh, Honourable Speaker. <coughs> I find this quite rich, Honourable Speaker. Rich in the sense that we had eight years of this government when they were in opposition complaining about the use of Order 51. Again, sir, I think somebody really likes the sound of his own voice. Honorable Speaker, eight years of them complaining about the use of Order 51. Just for once, maybe they should practice what they preach. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a lot of preachers on that side, Honorable Speaker. A lot of them. But now, what they're doing is throwing it back in our face and saying, ah, you did it, so we're going to do it. Where's the change? Where's the change? Where's the change, Honorable Speaker? And what we want to know, if I could refer to the actual... Order. Order. Honourable Speaker, the Minister of Finance, by his own admission, again said that I'm only going to do or take part in things that I'm only supposed to because my Prime Minister directed me to do so. Maybe he should keep quiet, sir. <coughs> Leave it to the Attorney General. Leave it to the able Attorney General next to you. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, just on the bill itself, I see in the explanatory note. Honourable Attorney General, right at the bottom, 3.1, it says the new legislation comes under the responsibility of the Attorney General. There is no new legislation. This is a repeal. What new legislation are you talking about? Bad drafting? I'm not sure. Maybe you need to check that, sir. Honourable Speaker, as rightfully as pointed out by Honourable Bulitavu, they've gone on about this in terms of Order 51, and I, I just wanted to point out, sir, it, there, there was quite a lot that was said with respect to expression, uh, freedom of expression, media freedom, etc., all this kind of stuff. Honourable Speaker, Fiji first followed the Constitution. We were bound and are still bound by the law. Everyone had freedom of expression. Don't say they didn't. But now, Honourable Speaker, now, certain media outlets are outright against the Fiji First. Fine. That's your freedom of expression. But even before, they used to report on both sides. Maybe they actually feel threatened. Who knows? Some media outlets, Honorable Speaker, actually feel threatened and they actually refuse to come and interview us. They're not actually doing it. So maybe you should really look at what you're actually saying. Yeah. They suffer from insecurity now. Fiji First were called dictators, Honourable Speaker. Because they suffer under you people. No. Order. Thank you, sir. Now they have to I thought you can't take it, but anyway. Oh, I can take it, but believe me, I can give it also. <laughs> But when I give it, you can actually keep quiet. Honorable Speaker, no one was actually threatened. Those, no one was threatened. Everybody had their freedoms guaranteed. Now, now, Honorable Speaker, social media commentators... Order. Thank you, sir. Social media commentators make comments against the Fiji, Fiji, and, uh, the Fiji First Government that was in place. They are free to do so. There's blatant, blatant racist remarks that are made and supporters are actually doing this openly now. Fijians are told to go back to India or leave, comments such as those, yet nothing, nothing is being done about it. Shame, shame. Nothing is being done about it. Shame. Honorable Speaker, I, again, I'll just, I'll just go back to the actual motion, actual bill. Again, practice what you preach. <coughs> Don't come here and procrastinate and, and pontificate about, oh, you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that, you did... All week you hear them, you did this, you did that. Get on with the job like Honorable Samata says. <laughs> maybe if he doesn't want to listen to us, Honorable Speaker, maybe 
He ought to listen to a former Prime Minister who's outside this house, who's telling him to get on with the job, Honourable Speaker. Maybe he should listen to him. Maybe he ought to. But the point here is, we, now you're doing something today. It's the first bill to come to the House. First bill to come to the House. Eight years of complaining. And what are they doing? They're not practicing what they're preaching. They're going, doing exactly what we did. And I don't see, according to them, I don't see the urgency here. The solution that's been offered by my Honourable Bully. Order. Order. Honourable Member. I suggest you refrain from pointing at me. You pointed. You pointed. Speaker, might I digress? Jut ne bolo. One man party. One man party. <laughs> the rest of you. Honourable Speaker, just quickly, sir, I agree with the honourable the sentiments expressed by Honourable Bultavu that take it to the next session of Parliament. Maybe it needs to come to one committee. That's fine. We don't have a problem with you using Order 51, but with this specific one, they had their consultations, I understand, but not with everybody. Maybe they should practice what they preach, sir. Thank you. Honourable Thank you. Speaker.